Welcome to the High Tech News. I'm Selena. And I'm Jorah. First, big prompt to last week's newscasters, Naomi and Kaylee. Who sang the entire newscast. You could not pay me enough hock nickels to sing Mr. Taft's script. Now, back to business. Some days at High Tech are just like Mr. Taft's favorite saying. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Take this for example. In PE, kids were stacking cups. Is stacking cups a real sport? Sure is. Is golf a real sport? No way. Hey, I heard that. At the same time that cup stacking was going on, fifth grade was learning about mixtures and solutions that cause explosions. explosions. <laughs> what do you get when you mix six tablespoons of <laughs> vinegar and half a tablespoon of baking soda? It explodes. Oh! Oh, that. The exploding bags explode because of the bacon soda and vinegar. Who is the most interesting librarian alive? It's our very own Miss Gardner, of course. Hello, this is Julian and Calvin and Mrs. Gardner. Reporting from the High Tech Library. Miss Gardner, we have a couple questions for you. Question one, where are you from? Originally, I'm from North Dakota. North Dakota sounds great. Very, very far away. Um, what are your hobbies outside of school? I like to knit. I like to read, obviously. Um, I like to play the piano, sort of, but I'm not very good at it. And I like to go hiking. Cool. Okay, so my question is, how many books have you read? In my lifetime, it's pretty hard to say, but I'm sure it's hundreds. Out of hundreds of books, what's your favorite book? My all-time favorite book is called Les Miserables. It's about that thick. It's like a, a telephone, telephone book. book? <laughs> it's just as big as the telephone book, and it's the one that made made into a musical called Les Mis. And also, did you knit this sweater? Yes, I did. It's very nice. Calvin and Julian, signing out. Out. Who is the most interesting educational interpreter alive? Why, it's our very own Mr. Paul. Take it away, Mr. Paul. Hi, Hi Tech. Uh, it's Mr. Paul again with this week's uh, sign language lesson. Uh, last time I showed you how to ask someone, how are you? What, how are you? Uh, today I thought I'd give you some ways to respond to that. Um, you already know one of them. Uh, you know how to say I'm good from good morning. So anytime you want to say I am good, I'm fine, I is you point to yourself. So I'm good. Uh, another option is I'm fine. And fine is like this. You take your five hand and tap your thumb at your chest. So you say I'm fine. You can also say I'm okay. So I'm okay. That's the letter O. And that's the letter K, so I'm okay. Um, uh, if it's early in the morning, like on a Monday morning, and you're feeling a little tired, you can say, I'm tired. You would curve your hands, uh, tap your chest, and then rotate down, so I'm tired. Um, and if you're feeling really good, really happy, you say, I'm happy. Uh, you take your flat hand and brush your chest up two times for happy. So that's, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm tired, or I'm happy. All right, see you next time. When a student asks Mr. Taff, can I write a story about the lunchroom food? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Watch this student idea. 
This is dedicated to the hardworking lunching staff. I love lunch, but you know what? Lunch loves me. I wait in line and look and see. I choose nachos and some chocolate milk, and then I choose four carrots. And then I type in my code, and then I go to eat, chomp, chomp, chomp. Then I pour out my milk, throw away my trash, and then I go out for recess. I love lunch, and lunch loves me. Everyone, look at this picture. It's the face of a fifth grade teacher who spent two days straight in the wilderness with her students. It's the face of a fifth grade teacher teetering on the edge of sanity. Look into those eyes, and you know she has. Bowel rat fever. Dun, dun, dun. Tired. 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 We get tired, I think, in the <laughs> Slept the entire way, I'm happy. Came back from a long journey. <laughs> no, baby. no sleep. I'm not emotionally stable for an interview right now, Mr. Cat. True. <laughs> this box went cool in our trip. It's, it's not time for interviews right now. You need to put the camera on. <laughs> Did you guys shower last night? No. no. I'm so sticky right now. Three, two, one. Fourth graders, there's no showering at Ballarat, but it's plenty of fun. That's it for this newscast. We'll see you next time on the High Tech News. Welcome to the High Tech News. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the newscast. Wait, uh, who's the most interesting gardener? Ah, gardener no. is what is your favorite? What is your favorite book? <laughs> Julian. But lunch. <laughs> I love lunch. See, and then I choose chop. I mean, I was smiling. I was smiling, Mr. Tash.